Hi everybody, David McKeegan here from Greenback Expat Tax Services. Just wanted to talk to you briefly about the physical presence test and clarify some questions that we've been getting recently. The physical presence test requires that you spend 330 days inside a foreign country in order to qualify. This is not the same as spending no more than 35 days in the United States. Uh, the difference is the travel time. So the IRS doesn't count any days in transit, uh, especially over international waters, as time in a foreign country. So I'm going to read you a couple examples directly from IRS Publication 54. So for example, if you leave the United States for France by air on June 10th, you arrive in France at 9 a.m. on June 11th. Your first full day in France for the physical presence test is June 12th. Now most people would consider their first full day in France to be June 11th, but it's not. And if you go over on the physical presence test, then you might not qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion. Now I'll read you another one. If, you if you're traveling from the United States to a foreign country and you pass over a foreign country before midnight the day you leave, the first full day you can count towards the 330 day total is the day following the day you leave the United States. So, for example, you leave the United States by air at 9.30 a.m. on June 10th, traveling to Kenya. You pass over Western Africa at 11 p.m. on June 10th, and you arrive in Kenya at 12.30 a.m. on June 11th. Your first full day in a foreign country is June 11th. Now this is because you're already traveling over a foreign country. Now the last example I'm going to give you here is if you travel by boat. And not many people still travel by boat, but if you do, this could be important. So you leave Norway by ship at 10 p.m. on June 6th and arrive in Portugal at 6 a.m. on June 8th. Since your travel is not within a foreign country or countries, and the trip takes more than 24 hours, you lose as full days, July 6th, 7th, and 8th. So your first full day inside a foreign country for the physical presence test is actually going to be July 9th. Now, if you're relying on the physical presence test to help reduce your U.S. expat, expat tax burden, I highly recommend speaking with a knowledgeable accountant about this or having a look at IRS Publication 54. Speak to you soon.